football for school tonight. Do you want to come and watch? Well, I, I don't think that's a good idea, mate. Why? Well, you know why? Because of all that bother with your Sarah. Well, what's that got to do with watching me play footy? Look, I, I'm really sorry, David, but I can't, mate. Hey, you will ask Kevin about washing them cars, won't you? Yeah, I'll tell him it's an express valet service. Sounds a bit flash. Yeah, well, I can hardly tell him it's you and a bucket of water now, can I? Yeah, we'll have them cars sparkling. I'll do anything to raise this cash. Hey, I'll have to go. I'll see you later. All right, good luck. Did my mum ask you about uh, washing them cars? Uh, yeah, she did, and uh, job's yours if you want it. Nice one. I charge four pound a car. <laughs> yeah, well, I was thinking, uh, more like a tenner for the lot. You what? Take it or leave it, sunshine. <sighs> I swear. Where's Sarah? There's no answer at your house. That's cos she left ages ago. Oh, right. She's probably trying to get away from you. No. She's embarrassed more like about all the stupid Sam stuff. Well, she shouldn't be. She hasn't told you yet, has she? Told me what? Well, spit it out! Well, Sarah made it all up. Nah, you're lying. Well, ask her for yourself if you don't believe me. Freak. Geek! Well, t tell me, does does that look straight to you? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, good. <laughs> Only as a newly appointed enumerator, it's my job to prime the populace for the census. Really? Uh, I trust you and Mike will hand in your forms promptly. Maybe, if I knew what the flaming heck you were going on about. You are obliged to fill in that form by law. And I can't go making exceptions just because you're associates of mine. You know, this enumerator light suits you, Doris. Hey. Only folk with no else in their lives could be bothered with it. See ya. Hello, oh, Fred, I take it you treat the census with a bit more respect. The what? The census. Oh, yes, certainly. Only for now I've got more pressing matters to attend to regarding the sausage trail. I thought you sorted that out weeks ago. I did. Only due to Ferguson's treacherous antics, the final will now take place in Roy's Rolls. Oh, her treacherous antics, really? See, I've no time for idle gossip. I think it's very good of Roy to accommodate you at such short notice. Well, yes, mm. You'll be very excited once I get round to telling him. <laughs> so what's all this about, then? You've been demoted, have you? Hey, 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 listen, I'm still the boss. I just don't mind getting my hands dirty, you know? Yeah, well, at least you can still use them, which I guess means that Sunita's brothers haven't been round yet, eh? <laughs> listen, I've told you once already, this is not a laughing matter, all right? Do you realise what I stand to lose if it comes out that I'm involved in this? Look, so why are you hiding her, then? Shut up. Is there something you're telling me about you and her? Like what? What, me and Sunita, all right? Don't you shush me. We're just friends. What is going on? Is this the Sunita girl from the Swinton shop? No, Deirdre, really, it's nothing to worry about. I'm right? the one who has to find cover for a job every day. So whatever it is that's happening, it affects me as well. Come inside. So that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's coming round to see you later. I don't want any trouble at work, Gail. Ke Kevin wouldn't like No, that. it's all right. Crisis is over. Sarah's come clean. I know nothing was going on between you two. It's a shame you didn't believe me in the first place, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. It's been a difficult time for all of us. Can we just put it behind us? We'd be happy to. I know one young man who'll be very pleased things are back to normal. He's missed you. I think it's best that I keep my distance. I'll uh, move my car, let you have your garage back. No, no, there's no need. It's better for everybody this way. I knew there was somebody upstairs. It didn't sound like work, men. All right, Deidre, but look, I cannot risk, OK, anyone else finding out. The only reason Vic did was by accident. What if they come round here demanding to see her? How am I supposed to deal with a horde of angry relatives? Deidre, it won't happen, OK? Trust me, I would not do this if I thought that was going to happen, but it is imperative, it is paramount that no-one else finds out, OK? Don't worry. I can keep a secret, unlike some people. It paint a smile on love, you're turning the beer sour. Dougie, I'm flaked out. Look, you're going to have to start cutting me hours down soon. I've got exams in a couple of months. I thought you wanted as many hours as you could get. Yeah, I do normally, but I've got to get down to some serious revision. Oh, don't fret, love. We'll sort some of it out. Wouldn't want to mess up your brilliant career, would we? Apart from what the duckies and my mum and dad have given us, we've only managed to save 90 quid in six months. Well, that ain't bad. Are you kidding? It's rubbish. This rate will be all peas before we get wet. Well, how much are we going to need? It's not like we're having a big flash doer out, is it? Yeah, no, we're not, but we've still got to save more than that. Otherwise, you'll be saying I do in your overalls. 
cheers. Have one for yourself. Yeah. And uh, make sure it's a double. Well, cheers. What have I done to deserve this? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? I heard you've got one over on Baldwin. <laughs> so, uh, go on, how much you rip him off for, then? Well, let's just say you'll have one less exotic holiday this year. Dougie, that has just made my day. <laughs> <laughs> Look, why did you lie to me? I thought we were mates. I didn't lie to you. You're the one that started thinking that me and Sam were an item. Yeah, well, you could have told me I was wrong instead of me finding out of that little run. Do you have any idea what nightmare I've been going through? Everyone knows what was written in my diary. Everyone. So was none of it true? No. I don't have a life, do I? I have to make it up. Just think, if this hadn't have happened, you and Sam might have been together. Yeah, right. Look, I'm not going to tell anyone, I promise. <laughs> but I might hit that David for you. Hey. Now, shouldn't you two be at school? Yeah, we're going now. Well, I haven't finished my drink. At least come on. See ya. Yeah, that's not a bad job you've done there. No, just remember, if you want any more done, I'm your man. <laughs> Sorry, mate, but you've just cleaned the entire fleet. You're joking. I thought you had more caps than this. Yeah, well, maybe one day we will. But let's hope you've got a couple of gold medals to your name by then, eh? I'm gonna need more than this to get me there. It's a good job I've got some more tricks up my sleeve, eh? What does he want now? I don't know. Listen, do you want a lift? No, fine, thanks. Well, this is daft waiting at a bus stop. I'm going the same way. Are you deaf? I said we're fine. OK. I'll say I didn't offer. So, uh, what do you reckon, Kev? Any chance of putting some work the lad's way? It could be like a new service, you know, where uh, we fix them, he washes them. Yeah, sounds a good idea, mate, but we've not really got space, have we? Well, you can always do them out front. Yeah, where would you do your work? I don't know. Yeah, right. Uh, sorry, mate. Can't help you. Oh, hello. I'm sorry about all this mess. I'll just move some of these boxes. Please, there's no need. We were hoping to see Mr. Alahan. Is he here? Uh, no, no, he's not. Who shall I say wants him? Oh, forgive me. I'm Mr. Parrick, and this is my wife. But can I take a message? Would you mind if we waited for him? It's our daughter, you see. She's gone missing. Come on, dear. It's all right. I'm sorry to bother you with this. Only we are very concerned about her. I, I understand. Sunita works for Mr. Alain. And we were hoping he might have some clue as to where she is. I think I should try a small bit of lemon, please. Right. I'm not sure we should be serving you, seeing as you've snatched the final from under me nose. Uh, beg your pardon? The grand final of the sausage trail. I hear you're holding it at the calf. Ah, you don't hang around, do you? Can I get you another one? No, thanks. I'd better be getting back. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll buy you one tonight and follow up by dinner for two. Sorry, but I'm spoken for, remember? Jesus invited me and Sunita over to Des. Yeah, I forgot. I haven't seen you much over the past couple of days. Well, you know what they say? Absence makes the heart grow fonder. See you later. Yeah. You're not going to believe this, did you, right? Tillian Salford's down nearly 50 pounds again, though. Ah, death, there are some people here to see you. Oh, thank goodness you're back. I'm Mrs. Parikh, Sunita's mother. We need your help, Mr. Alhan. Namaste ji, mujhe maaf karna, Mr. Parekh. I hope you haven't been waiting long there, okay, huh? Has she been in touch with you? We are out of our minds with worry. Uh, I'm sorry, no, but I'm as concerned as you are to see her safe return. She's always spoken very fondly of you. That's why we thought she might have been in touch. She'd hate to think that she was letting you down. Yes, I know. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. But um, have the police got anywhere yet? No. It's hopeless. Can you think of anything she said before she disappeared that might lead us to her? Mm, uh, no, no. This thing took me completely by surprise. Then it's down to us. Thank you, Mr. Alan. 
I know that you would help us if you could. If you do hear anything, please, give me a call. But of course. Yes. What? How could you lie to her? The state she was in. Oh, come on, dear. You didn't fall for that little performance. That wasn't an act. That was an act. Even Sunita told me they were going to pull a stunt like that. No, I don't care. She's a mother. Yeah. She's got a right to know her daughter's safe. Just like Mike had a right to know about his son, yeah? Shouldn't you be on your way to David's match? I was. I'm worried about Sarah. She's refusing to speak to me now. Oh, give her time. I never wanted this business with Sam to come between us. Well, hopefully it'll calm down now. She's finally admitted the diary was made up. Oh. Well, she's obviously taught you round, then. If you mean do I believe her, then yes, I do. Oh. We were wrong, Martin. None of this is Sam's doing. In fact, I think you should go round there and apologise to him. Oh, you can forget that, Gail. Look, he's obviously done something to encourage you. Why else did you write that stuff? Young girls don't need encouragement. They live in a fantasy world. How can you be so certain that he didn't lead her on? You know, you've been that busy with your new job, you probably wouldn't have noticed. And what's that supposed to mean? Well... Well, since you started work, can you honestly say that the kids haven't been affected? I mean, look at Sarah. First off, she likes to Glen about Beth. And now all this. And what's that got to do with me working? Gail, you can't deny there's something wrong. She never used to lie like this. Well, maybe she's picked up a few tricks watching you in action. Gail, you can blame me all you like. I'm sorry. This one's down to you. Did they suspect anything? I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. Didn't give much away. They must know something, otherwise they wouldn't be sniffing around. Maybe I should move out. I can't risk them finding me not now. OK. Where will you go? I don't know. A B&B, &B, a hostel. All right. All right, let's just stick this out for a few more days, OK? By Sunday, you've missed the flight and I'll have to call the wedding off. But they won't leave you alone now. They know you're involved. I understand if you want to back out. Hey. OK. Well, we're in this together, yeah? Me and you. So we'll have no more talk like that, OK? I'm looking for Tyler. Is she around? Oh, uh, business or pleasure? Sorry. Is so your friend? Uh... Yeah. All oh, right. Well, uh, she's at college at the moment, but if you give her uh, what two hours, she'll be on shift at the Rovers. Thanks, mate. You've been very helpful. That's kept for a pay rise, but he just laughed. Yeah, you know, my dad did the same, except with the swearing involved. Well, it looks like if we're going to save more, we've just got to start spending less. Well, we hardly spend out anyway. Actually, I've noticed that you spend a lot on petrol. Hey, now, hang on a minute, Maria. I mean, I love you and everything, but I'm not getting rid of my car. No, don't be daft. I'm not asking you to do that. I just reckon that maybe we should walk places sometimes now. Oh, that's all right, then. Mind you, that's only going to give us an extra few quid. I want a proper wedding, Tyrone. I don't just want something cheap. Roy! Ah, Fred, I, I, I need to talk to you. Me first, now. Due to some double dealings at the Rovers' return, I no longer regard it as a suitable venue for the much-venerated Sausage Trade final. So, I'm offering you the chance to hold it here, the glittering event, next Saturday coming. Look, look, I'm afraid it is not possible. If it was for charity, there may be, but... Oh, I see. Emotional blackmail. What? Yes, all right, all right. I'll donate a few sausages to the local soup run. No, no, that is not what I meant. Sausages and chops for a month. Them unfortunates will think their Christmases will come all at once. But do we have a deal? <laughs> I can't be stood standing here all day. Well, that, that is a good cause, I suppose. Ah, you're driving a hard bargain, Roy Cropper. I never knew you had it in you, sir. Never knew you had it in you. Right, I shall be in touch about the arrangements. Well, you could do with a company, right? And besides, uh, Gina's looking forward to it. It's going to be OK. Then you have a good time. Bye. <laughs> nice one, mate. 
Didn't know you was into that. Well, I'm trying to make money to go to Lanzarote for my training. I'm hardly out of things since this morning. I have a full-time job and now to show for it and a wedding to pay for. Ooh. Take you a while, won't it, washing windscreens? Yeah, well, at least these are right. I think I'm a beggar. Well, I'm going to get off anyway. See you later. Sarah! Sarah! Do you hear me calling, yeah? Sorry, I've got to get back to Bethany. Well, just hang on a minute here, please. Please. Look, your mum's told me about the diary. Oh, so we're going to get an apology now? Yeah, well, you might understand why I was so worried one day if some older bloke ever came sniffing around Beth. Sam was not sniffing around, mate. When are you going to get that into your thick no, head? I was bound to be concerned after what David said. Sarah! I just don't care about you. Why do you keep humiliating me? Listen, just cos you've got nothing going on in your life does not mean you have to start sticking your nose in mine. You know, I wish you had gone off with Rebecca, cos we'd all be a lot happier. I was going to ask you to help me drink this, but I can see you're busy. Mm, come in, we're only having a girls' night in. What's your part in all this? Me, I am going to do the sensible thing and make a run for it. Okay. Mm. See you. Enjoy yourself, ladies. See you right, everyone help themselves to drinks because I don't see anyone sat here with empty glasses. Yeah, and it looks like you're slacking already. There you go. Cheers. I don't think we've met. Sorry, Linda. This is Sunita, one of Deb's friends. Hiya. How are you? So how long have you known him? Um, a few years now. Come on, then. Spill the beans. I bet he's got some right juicy skeletons in his cupboard. I don't know Dev like that. How do you know him? Well, she works for him. Um, Dev abandoned me at shop one day and we got talking Oh, and... no, Gina, don't. It's bad enough Dev has to lie for me. I don't want you doing it as well. She's right, I do work for Dev. But that's not why I'm here. Dev's hiding me from her family. I'm running away from an arranged marriage. Blimey. I'm glad I came round. This is shaping up to be a very interesting evening. How'd you get on? Pathetic. Apart from what Vic gave us, I made six quid. You'll have to go to a busier street tomorrow. Head into town. No way. I've had it with his car washing lark. <laughs> you gotta give it a chance. I can't believe I thought I could make 500 quid. What a joke. There's still time. Oh, yeah. Plenty of time for me to be stuck here while the other lads get proper training. And this, um, this training... It'll make a big difference. Yeah. They'll be well ahead of me when they get back. I might as well just give up now. I suppose I give you 300 quid towards it. Are you taking a mick? I know he asked for loan, but it's only messing like. No, I'm being straight here. I'll sub you 300 quid, but you've got to get rest. And what's the catch? There ain't one. Well, there is just one. I knew it. No, just don't tell your mother. This is strictly between you and me. <laughs> <laughs> So listen, anyway, I didn't think that sort of thing went on anymore. My brother married an English girl and it was a disaster. She dumped him after a year. So that's why they're so keen to make this work. All right, why did you say yes in the first place? I know I wouldn't. Partly a rebound thing. Just come out of a nightmare relationship. And Deepak, well, he seemed like a nice bloke, good job in that. So I just thought, well, why not? So what made you change your mind? I don't know, got scared. Dear stories of women getting stuck over there. I don't understand how they reckon it can work. I mean, you can't force people to fall in love, can you? Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't have minded if my folks had tracked down a rich husband for me. Save me the bother of chasing Mike. <laughs> <laughs> what can I get you? Oh, there's your soon-to-be ex-husband at the bar. Do you think we should join him? I don't think so, thank you. Well, that doesn't sound too good. In fact, you better get the drinks in. Oh. I don't think I can trust myself to be anywhere near him. Phil, what are you doing here? I thought I'd catch up. How's things? Yeah, fine. Are you still at the hostel? Yeah, thanks to you sorting it for me. Oh, she's glad to help. Actually, I need to ask another favour. Well, you know all that stuff Dougie said about me in the paper? A mate of mine reckons I can try and do him for libel. Oh, right. Uh, so, where do I come into this? You're my star witness, aren't you? They did it wrong and one were bigger than the other. <laughs> <laughs> so, come on, then. If you could marry anyone, who would it be? Oh, Leonardo DiCaprio, definitely. Oh, no, he's got a face like a Brussels sprout. Oh, yes. oh what about Vicky? Isn't he your dream man? No, he'll do. 
until someone better comes along. Well, I'm going to go for Roy Keane. And on our wedding day, I'm going to tell him he has to wear shorts so I can see his legs. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have no idea who you're on about, but he sounds perfect to me. What about you? Oh, I'm sticking with Mike. I can't go swapping him now, can I? Oh, Linda, come on. Play I'm the not game. bothered about marrying anybody famous, mate. I just want somebody who's tall, dark and handsome. Yeah, you'll have a job to find a guy like that in Weatherfield. Yeah, you'll have to lower your standards a bit, love. <laughs> no way! Andy has to be successful. I'm, I'm not marrying no layabout. And I like a man who's romantic, you know. Brings me flowers and that. Hey, watch out, Gina. Sounds like death to me. <laughs> 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 Some of them things printed in the paper were well out of order. But it'll be a doddle screw money out of Ferguson. Oh, so why do you need my help then? Because you know the whole story. You can confirm everything that I say. What's this waster doing in my pub? Your pub? Yeah, that's right. And scum like you aren't welcome, so get out. I don't believe it. What, you're working for him now? Look, you don't understand. Oh, no, I do. You can't support me, yeah? Can't bite the hand that feeds you, eh? Come on, out. I'm suing you for defamation. That'll teach you to tell some journal a load of lies about me. Hey, doggy! Hey, no, get off! Doggy! Get your hands up! Leave I'll catch you within ten feet of my bar again. You'll have a lot more than that to worry about. Get off me! Shut up! What did you have to do that for? Want to join him? If you don't like the way I run things, you can walk. Your choice. Smart girl. You're learning. <laughs> <laughs>